So this is what you're going to need to make your little gnome. Um, we've got one plain white sock, like a girl's school sock. Two different coloured socks, one for the body and one for the hat. Um, you can pick which one you want either way around. Um, we've got a little bit of blush here to colour the nose. If not, you can use um, some coloured pencil. A little bit of felt. These are the embe em embellishments uh, for after a little bell and a little flower. Some embroidery thread, some white loom bands, white elastic band, artificial fur. Um, this is already a cut piece already. I cut it for inches down and five inches across um, rice make sure you freeze your rice a week before just to make sure there's no nasties left in it because obviously you'll be getting the gnome out each year you don't want any eggs or anything growing in your gnome so make sure you freeze your rice this is a 500 ml jug so it's one of them small jugs so you probably need about a jug and a half of rice um, we've got polystyrene cone for the hat you could use stuff in if you wanted to if you haven't got this and also we've got a glue gun some good scissors stanley knife or a sharp knife just just for cutting some extra glue sticks just in case i run out and i think that's about it really so let's get cracking and make this lovely little gnome so first of all we're going to cut the sock straight across there just in the middle of the heel so I'll cut and um, save this one if you wanted to make another norm and um, you can just stitch the bottom here um, and then you've got another sock to fill the rice with. So the next bit is to put your rice into the sock. Make sure you don't spill the rice all over. Oh. Uh, put a bit in at a time and then just keep Patting it down, and then we can squeeze some more in, and just spill the rice. That was guaranteed to happen with me. There we go. So that's the rice in the sock. So we've got a nice little shape there. And then what we're going to do is with our elastic band, the bigger one. I'm just going to tie that off. Once that's tied off, we're going to make his nose now. So you're just grabbing a chunk here like that. Now the bigger the nose, the more comical it's going to look. Your little nose, the smaller the nose. So that was a quite a big nose. You can see the difference if you have a little nose like that, or you're going to have a big nose like this, like this. So I'm just grabbing the nose, and then with one of the loom bands, the elastic band. I'm just going to tie that off. Just like this. Can you see? You'll be able to shape your nose as well. Um, with it being right, you can manipulate it a, a little bit around. Like, I think I might make his a little bit bigger. There we go. And I've shaped his nose. It's a bit like a strawberry shape, just a bit flat on top there and then shape like that. So then with your embroidery thread, because obviously elastic bands don't last forever, um, I'm just going to tie off here and tie off around the nose. So that if the elastic band does disintegrate or snap over time, um, you won't get rice everywhere because this will be your saviour. Gonna tie it round a couple of times, pull it tight, and then give it one more ring, and then just knot it and trim the edges off. Now we've got this little bit of excess here. I'm just gonna trim that down a little bit. And then if you've got any blush, or you could use a pencil crane, but I've got some old blush here and a blusher brush. You just want to pink his nose up a little bit. There we 
pink off. Pink up a little bit. And we'll move on to the next bit. So we're going to concentrate on the body and I'm using the red sock and again I'm just going to cut in the middle of the heel here straight across. Very good pair of scissors. Put that to one side. And this is the body. When you're putting the body on, the little heel bit, if you just stick that to the back of the, uh, the gnome. So I'm just going to stick that on his body. that you can see it's coming along nicely now so what I'm going to do is just glue with the hot glue gun this bit and tuck it underneath his nose and then the rest I'm just going to drag it up and glue gun all that so we end up with this little tuft at the top here so put a little bit of glue here and then just tuck that underneath the nose Hold it a minute while it dries. Like rice everywhere. So then I'm just going to glue this bit over the top of the nose. And then the rest I'm just going to glue so it's all gathered around the white sock. Like that. Gonna glue it all together. So we've done that bit there. Um, it's coming along lovely. Nice shape as well. So that's all uh, glued at the top there. The nose is a nice like strawberry shape. It's got a nice body. It's a bit more rounder at the bottom. So the next bit is going to be the beard. So the beard. Um, I've already cut what I want so what I did was for across the top which is under the nose that I cut five inches and then four inches down when you're cutting this material as well don't use scissors um, because you end up trimming these longer bits which you don't want to and when you're cutting it you need to cut it on the back um, with a Stanley knife or a sharp knife and then just gently score it as you're cutting it so you just make sure you don't cut these long bits here it's fur everywhere this one's molting so as you can see this is going to go underneath his nose like this it's a little bit long that so i might just trim it um, and put it down to about maybe three inches let's take a little bit off because it's it is a little bit too long A new blade for this one. So I've just trimmed that down a little bit. Let's have a look. I don't want to completely hide all the red on his body, so that's going to go that's a little bit better. There. So, what I need to do now is just cut a little arch out here so this fur will just tuck underneath his nose, and then we can bring all this up like that when we glue it on. So you can see I've just cut. I mean, if you've got a small nose, your little um, cut in here would be a lot smaller. But he's got a big nose, this one. So that just fits nicely under. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here to start off with underneath the nose. And then stick it under. And then I'm going to glue the rest so it comes up like that. Get my glue on. So a little bit underneath the nose there. And then we can just stick that and tuck it under. And just let that dry for a couple of seconds and then we're just going to glue over the top and then we can just drag the rest of the fur up around the top of the nose so that's all glued on oh that came through a little bit just burnt my finger so that's the beard attached you can play around with the beard as well and do different uh, little uh, styles so now we're just going to focus on the hat um, We've got the comb, but when you come to cut the um, sock, you could also fill it with stuffing if you haven't got any cones as well. The type of stuffing that you get like in soft ties and pillowcases. So I'm going to use a cone. Um, I'm just going to 
with my knife just cut a little slant in the side so it does end up sitting on the norm's head slanted and then just create a little hole like just cut a little square out there so this excess fits nicely into the comb just put that to one side so i'm just gonna cut a little slant off here So you can see we've got a little slant here, there, so now I'm just going to cut out a square in the middle, it doesn't have to be neat, don't worry about it, because you're not going to see it, just watch your fingers when you're cutting, cut that out, polystyrene everywhere. quite a square but it will do so hopefully see if that will squeeze in there so you can see it's more flat to the head now the cone and it's hiding the little excess bit of material that we've got just had a quick clean up because that polystyrene just gets everywhere it's the worst thing for clean up so we've got our hole in here now um, and I'm just gonna put some glue inside it and stick it on top of the gnome's head and just hold it in place for a while so that it dries <laughs> it's coming along nicely isn't it so you can see there it's a dumpy little thing, isn't it? And then just a little bit of glue underneath this bit just to stick that down at the back. It's like like a wizard. Cute, lovely little thing, these. So with your next bit, you've got your whole sock here, just scrunch it up a little bit, put it on the gnome's head, and then you can just, <laughs> that could just be it, you'd have to glue the hat down a little bit if you wanted it to, or you could just pull this over a little bit, you could stuff the top and tie a little band around it, so it's got a little barble coming off, um, which is I think what I'm going to do. So make sure that the heel is at the back as well the heel of the sock you don't have it at the front allegedly end up with a little bumpy at the front so with this little bit of excess beard that i cut off earlier on i'm just going to stick it into the end of the gnome his hat like that so i've got this little ball and then just get a little band and just put the band around the top like that now I've got these little this little bell here so as I'm tying it off with some embroidery I'm just gonna split the embroidery thread a little bit and then just thread it through my little bell that I've got let's tie that into a knot and then I'm just going to add, make sure it's at the front and not at the back where the heel is. Add the little bell there. And just cut the little excess off. He's got a little bell on his hat there. So, I'm just going to put it on head like that and we've had the little split up a little bit there so this is just hanging over a little bit and I'm just going to glue down just the edges here I mean if you wanted you could fold it over as well Um, it's up to you how you want it I'm just going to glue down a little bit of the edges so the hat stays in place just make sure I'm happy with it He 
looks really cute. Some glue. Just to glue down just little bits at a time. Make sure his hat's secure. So cute. And there's your little gnome. <laughs> Lovely. All done. So you could have cut out some uh, little extra bits as well if you wanted to put a hat on his hat there. Glue that on. Or if you wanted to put a little flower on. I quite like the flower so I'm just going to glue that flower on. And there he is, your little Scandinavian gnome, all finished and very cheaply made too. Lovely. <laughs>